this is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trailer Interaction. First off, I enjoyed immensely the original Dark Crystal. Now, the thing is, I'll also be honest about this. I also thought it was a little slow. But for my money, what works for that movie is the practicalness of it. Everything you see on screen in that movie is there. From the model city slash castle scapes to every figure that moves on the screen is actually there. And for me, that's such an amazing thing because it shows that these things are what they are, namely works of art. It's a gorgeous, fully realized world that these characters live in. Again, I think the movie itself was kind of slow, frankly, but gorgeous to look at. And that's what, I guess, drives me to look at the Netflix prequel, which is The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance. I just want to see those cityscapes, those creatures, those puppets, again. They remind me very much of Jerry Anderson's work, the man who did the Thunderbirds, Joe 90, Space 1999, UFO, in that he created whole environments for his characters. And it's such a joy to watch. Even if the episodes were sometimes a little corny or not necessarily even that watchable in some instances. It's just the idea that there are these fully visualized tactile worlds. And that's something CGI can't give you. I don't care how well realized the CGI world is. If you watch them film that, there's nothing there. It's, for the most part, green screen. Sure, you have props and so on, and sometimes additional costumes as well. More often than not, there's nothing there. But with Jerry Anderson and this upcoming Dark Crystal prequel, for the most part, everything you see on screen is there. It's realized with models, visually interesting and clever camera angles, and slowing the speed of the camera itself. It's just so clever, and so much artistry goes into it. In my opinion, far beyond anything that happens with computer-generated images, for that matter. So it's just so visually fascinating. That being said, let's take a look at the trailer for and they just call it trailer, by the way, which is interesting, for The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance. Like I was saying before about fully realized worlds, look at that image. Now, I suspect we're looking at some CGI going on here. It doesn't look fully model work. So the castle, without a doubt, I think, is a practical castle. Well, obviously, not a full-size castle, just a small model of a castle. It looks like the surrounding mountains and so on are CG. They look too real. That plane looks kind of modelish, though it may very well be CG as well. Interesting. Let's take a look at this video. Throb. At its center. The crystal of truth, the source of all life. The Skeksis have corrupted it. And now our world is at risk from the darkening. What is darkening? he's ever told us was a lie. And now everyone, I think everything is at risk. Join me! So we may finally unite as one against our true foe, the Skeksis. We are eternal!
Anything will never be like it was again. No. It will be better. Mm. That still sounds like Yoda. I'm sorry. In any case, that was a trailer for The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. And I mentioned Jerry Anderson earlier, and if you've seen his Lavender Castle, it reminds me a lot, visually speaking, of that movie, of that series, I should say. And now keep in mind something, that's not really fair to say, if only because while I think the books that inspired Lavender Castle did come prior to the Dark Crystal movie, the series Lavender Castle came after. So if anything, the Dark Crystal inspired Lavender Castle to some extent. But that's neither here nor there. It looks fascinating. And the idea of a series, I think, works a lot better than a movie. Because, as I also said earlier, I thought that the movie was a little dull. I think with a series, you can space it out and make it perhaps more engaging. We'll see. This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trail into Reaction. Peace. And have a good day.